Hi, I'm going to demonstrate a feature I checked into the Vulcan Seagrass VHD page to LED example. The feature implements using multiple threads to read an individual tile. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate um, what it was like before and the, the new more multi-threaded approach. Um, in both cases here, this is exactly the same application and data. Um, in this case, it's OpenStreetMap data being downloaded from the internet live. The right-hand image is using the new implementation with the using multiple threads. There's a class in the VSG called VSG Open uh, Operation Threads, and I've actually created eight threads dedicated to the loading of individual um, image subtitles. On the left-hand side is using the database pager without this additional um, set of threads. And what you'll see is the right-hand one, the new one, is actually loading in tiles much more rapidly. And in, in natural benchmark, benchmark tests, it's around about three times faster to load tiles using the new technique than the uh, old technique. Now, with the holy grail for um, database paging is to actually achieve a, a zero cost in um, time between when you request a tile to actually loading it. Now that's impossible to achieve, but the, the closer it is to zero milliseconds, then the higher quality the result will be. Uh, when you're actually paging from the internet, each individual tile may take hundreds of milliseconds to actually make the request, download the actual data, and then be able to merge that tile. In the case of a quad tree um, data structure, like you're seeing with a page database, there's actually four images per tile, per subtile that you break down. And then when you actually zoom in closer, that each individual subtile will itself have four quadrants that each one you'll actually um, load. With the new technique, we can actually load four, the four individual um, image subtiles at the same time, whereas the original one on the left-hand side is having to actually load each of those subtiles in the same thread. Um, it may still be able to load four page LOD nodes at the same time, but the actual subtiles, it has to load in series. And the, the nice benefit of the new approach of using more threads to actually read the individual um, subtiles is that you can actually cut the time to load in new tiles down to around about a third. And the visual quality is, is you know, it's, it's straight more apparent. And it gets much more closer to that holy grail of um, zero overhead. When this demonstration is being run, actually paging the database in from the OpenStreetMap server live, um, the second time around, we've actually already downloaded, so it's actually caching some of the local file cache. If I run this example, the side-by-side -side example, um, you see now we're using the uh, warmed up file cache. The average time to load tiles um, goes down from around about 300 milliseconds down to around about three milliseconds for the example on the right hand side and the, the example running on the left hand side of the old scheme that goes between about four milliseconds in the cached files and around about a thousand milliseconds on average for the uncached files. Um, and the, the nice thing about it is that programming complexity for the end user it's all you have to do is configure the actual uh, the number of threads you want to use in the operations thread and assign that to the VSG options that you pass into the actual time reader. Um, a nice little benefit of uh, an afternoon's work. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.